Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. Thanks for joining me. This video is going to be about an SOE Riggers belt with a new D-ring buckle. Pretty cool. Again, this came about because I had a viewer request to uh, check out SOE gear and they were kind enough to send not one, not two, but three different belts to check out. And so I made a separate video on each one. This one is about the uh, Riggers belt. I did another Riggers belt with a standard, you know, uh, D-ring or V-ring on it and then a um, EDC belt. This one has a the new buckle that's got the built-in ring on it, so there's no retention strap you got to fool with or anything. So, um, And this one does not have a Velcro lining where the other one does. Um, the Velcro lining, if you're not familiar, is just for securing some tactical type holster. So without further ado, let's talk about this real quickly. This is 1.75 inches of extremely stiff, solid nylon. Uh, SOE, again, it's been making high quality gear for the civilian and military market for over 10 years. They're made out of Tennessee. And um, again, something I've said this on the other videos and I'll repeat it again. Something I like is they give preference on orders to active and deploying military. So, you know, they make these things by hand. They don't have a big shelf full of them that they just walk up and grab. They make them by hand to your size and your specifications. They got a lot of different colors. You know, I'll put a link to their website below. But um, uh, speaking of the website, I have to do the disclaimer. I've done this on the other videos too. Um, if you go to their website, you're going to see some colorful language, period. Uh, there's no other way around it. Um, profanity, colorful language, whatever you want to call it. So I wouldn't send my kids there. But, um, you know, they're grown ups and they cater to the military crowd, and, and that's just the way it is. So just be, be, be aware of that and be advised of that. Um, but nonetheless, they have excellent, excellent gear. And the prices are comparable to other manufacturers on the market where these are handmade in the USA and that means something to me so i like supporting smaller i don't know how small they are but i like supporting you know local businesses so without further ado this um i've already shown this on the other couple videos so we'll go over it real quick but again this is a 1.75 inch belt so it's um not going to go through your belt this is not going through a belt loop of any pants that i've ever seen in my life instead of just showing you that again i'll you know i'll refer you to the other videos if you want to see that I think you can figure out how to put a belt on, but the bottom line you got to know is you got to pretty much put the belt on and then then attach it to this this side of the buckle. And when you do that, sure it's a little bit bigger pain in the neck than putting a regular belt on. When you get it done though, you've got a belt that, will, that you'll be able to use for securing, for safety, for um, you know just in case you need to strap in somewhere. And, and there's a lot of reasons you might need to do that if you work in a high areas, if you know for for work, if you're doing some high adventure type stuff. If you happen to be a rigger, um, then you you know this is absolutely critical to, to your job and uh, my understanding is i'm not i have not been in the military but i got a good friend who was a rigger in the army for for 20 years um and he um basically they, they rig loads for helicopters and planes and parachutes and everything else and so they're in a situation where they might be leaning out of an aircraft or whatever sometimes or, or, or at least at risk to falling out of an aircraft so you know a belt like this where you can clip yourself in it's a really um, handy thing to have it's probably more than handy. It's probably critical and crucial. So I'm going to put this thing on and we're going to show you how well it works and wrap this thing up because there's no sense of beating a dead horse. If you want to see all the nitty gritty details of how to put a belt on, check the other videos out. Okay, so I've got a carabiner here. Fold this out. Clip it on here. And swing! Whee! No hands! I'm not going to say that's comfortable because it hurts my hips, but it absolutely supports. And there you have it. And when you finish, just fold it back in. And there you go. Even looks pretty decent. Okay, well that was the SOE Riggers belt with the new D-ring buckle, which um, the last time I checked their website, it's kind of hard to find. So I'm gonna put a link to the exact page where this particular buckle is below. So if you wanna, if you're interested in checking out, you can go to it. Um, because it's a really cool belt buckle, it's a really cool belt, and as you saw, it supports you know your weight very well. It's just um, it's something good to have if you might be in a situation where you need to uh, clip yourself in for safety for any reason whatsoever. And, and it's just a good solid belt, so I'm sure it'll last years and years and years. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, check out the good folks at SOE. They're doing a great job of supporting the military and putting out a really really excellent product. So, as always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up button, for sharing it with your friends, for watching those ads. And thank you so much for doing any Amazon shopping that you do through the Survival on Purpose links at survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon. 
It really helps uh, keep some a little cash roll into the channel here, keep things going, and I sincerely appreciate it. So once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time. It's a 34, and it's just a little bit loose on me, which yay for me. But... <laughs> <laughs>